Well, watch this next interview because it's all about a website that you may not be want to use today, but you know somebody who will want to use it because we all have artists in our life. And this is a website where artists can put their work on this website and explain it and they get money all the time. So they don't have to worry about living project to project or, you know, hey, I got to do another song, I got to do another this or whatever. It's a stream of money that comes in to an artist. It's sort of like having a patron. You know? And that's what the site's called. Patreon. P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com. Yeah. And, and, and it's for artists to be able to concentrate on their work and not spend 100% of their time figuring out how to get paid. So with this website, it's almost like this is the place to have your website <laughs> all the time if you're an artist because it takes care of the funding model for you. They, they figured it all out, did it all, and it's really done by by an artist himself. I mean, he made music and things like this. He was always living project to project. So he figured out a way that he could have money coming in all the time so he could keep doing his work, keep working on his art. Yeah, because <laughs> that's the reason we're here, right? Is to work on our art. We're all artists in something. Yeah, <laughs> you may be a carpenter and that's an artist. You may be a stockbroker and that could be your art. So what is your art? You know. And this is what this site is about, because art is really changing our world, and it's where all the ideas come from, so watch. Well, Jack Conti, man, your website, <laughs> Patreon, is going to be the patron for every artist in America, aren't you? If you're an artist in America, you got to know Patreon.com, right? Because that's where you can all get money. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully that's that's the goal. The goal is, uh, yeah. I mean, we want to reach we want to reach as many artists as possible. That you know, our, our without sounding too money centric here. I mean, the 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 point of Patreon is to pay people for for doing great things. That's that's our mission. Our mission is to take people who are changing the world and making great art that millions of people love and to pay well, them yeah, for it. I, I know artists usually have a bad. You know, I grew up. You know, I went to business school, MBA, and stuff like that. So. Money, <laughs> money's a good thing, you know. But it, more importantly for an artist, if you can't support your art, then you can't share it. You can't give it. It's so important, you know, because, and also, if, if you know, having a site like yours to tell you if the art you're doing is other people want it. Because if you're doing it, another, nobody wants it, maybe you're doing the wrong thing, you know. Yeah, so um, we're all about... Uh, sustainable creative mm -hmm. careers you can make a song and you can spend five thousand dollars making an ep and packaging it and doing all this stuff at the end of the day if you don't make money from yeah. that song or that ep then that's your last ep that you're going to make exactly and what what patreon wants to do is help you make 50 more eps and mm -hmm. 10 more albums and 100 more videos right we want you to have a sustainable creative career and that means that means somewhere along the intersection of art and money. Yeah. Well, I mean, you need money to live. We, we have to have that, and that's why. And if you don't have a sustainable way of supporting your art, then you can't keep making it. You can't that's, keep contributing. And that's exactly. what I see art as. You're, we're all here to do something. And if you're here to be an artist, then you have to give as much as you can, right? Yeah. You have to you have to give as much as you can and, and share it with as much people. As. So if you can't figure out a way to keep doing that, you know, with money, then you're not going to be able to give as much. And that's what your platform is, right? Yeah, yeah, that's that's the whole the whole point is, right, yes. It's giving and working your butt off on your art. <laughs> working your butt off, exactly. Yeah, I mean, there's no reason being an artist should be easier than being a doctor or a lawyer. Oh. In fact, it's I think it's, well, I'm not going to say it's harder. I've never been a doctor or a lawyer, but mm. it's very hard. It's more mm. than a full-time job. The well, successful I, I artists it, that I know... Because you know, if you're a doctor and lawyer, you know what you have to do to make money. Or whatever you know, it's just you know <laughs> climbing up the ladder and pushing the plugs. As an artist, you're not sure. Yeah, so that's yeah. yeah it's more insecure. So I think you have to probably work harder because of the insecurity about it. You don't know what really works. You know. Yeah, it's exactly. It requires um, just consistent and constant innovation. Yeah. 
man, yeah. because nobody knows the answer. And that's really, see, that's why I think artists are so important in our society now. Our whole world is like that now. Nobody knows what's work. Wall Street doesn't work. Housing doesn't work. Government right. doesn't work. In other words, so we all have to be creative like artists <laughs> to, to dig inside ourselves to find out what works. And we can't trust other people. That's why I think artists really have to start ruling the world because that's what the world has become. Yeah. yeah. Nothing and all of these models, all yes. of the models are being taken over, right? Exactly. Tax cabs are being taken right. over by Uber and right. Lyft exactly. and, and Sidecar and um, and hotels. That's, right. you know, that's being <laughs> taken over by, uh, uh, what's the name? Airbnb. Of Airbnb, yeah. Oh, I heard another thing. Down in Louisiana, they're having Mardi Gras. Somebody came up with an Air P and P. You know, because in Mardi Gras, you have nowhere to go to the bathroom, so they got an app. <laughs> You could put your toilet from your house on the app and make three dollars. Someone wants a pee. It's that's so Airbnb. funny. Isn't that great? That's so <laughs> but, <laughs> see, but that probably came from an artist, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it came certainly from an innovator. Yeah, right. And, and, and your site is really made more like for digital artists. So if you're doing creative work digitally, with audio, video, graphics, and things like that, it makes it easier because I guess you're not like you know, Kickstarter, all these other things that project oriented, you're there to get artists money every day. Yeah, we're, we're, um, again, it's about sustainable creativity. Yeah. We're, we're recurring revenue for artists. So, um, you know, people sign up, a patron signs up to support an artist at, you know, a dollar per video or $5 per blog post uh -huh. or whatever it is. And it's, it's per thing or per right. month, depending right. on right. how the artist <laughs> wants to set it up. But yes, the, the, the main difference between us and Indiegogo or Kickstarter or any of these other companies is uh, is that it's recurring revenue. Yeah. Well, that's one of the other things. You put your project on there and you bust your butt out for a month or two and then the money's over and <laughs> you got to yeah. keep going, right? Right. And, so and now not with only your that, platform. You, yeah. have to, you have to do like a whole other campaign and rally the yeah. new... The new fans and and find yeah. the old ones who who yeah. were giving to you and it's like a it's a full ordeal and yeah we want Patreon to be um, well we don't want it to be a burden to artists yeah. we want it to feel like an extension of Facebook or something like that where it's just it's an easy thing that you know five minutes a day or you know a half hour a week or something like that and and it allows them to continue being creative. Well, I see that you should be like the home page for every artist so that they have a place what they're doing and a way to easily collect revenue. So anybody comes to their home, but oh, yeah, I could give a buck a week or a buck a month, five dollars a month because I like your stuff. And I, I want to make sure, you know, you're still doing it for me to enjoy you know, the next release, the next whatever it is. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so, I, yeah that's... so you don't need a homepage anymore. You just go to <laughs> patreon.com and put in Matthew Lusco, my homepage for <laughs> all my videos, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. I mean, I, I, yeah, I don't see why not. <laughs> but it's, it, you know, to me, and, and the word Patreon, I'm sure you know, I mean, you feel like, you know, you're in, you know, the 18th century or something in Europe and, <laughs> and getting money from the king. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that that's the point. I mean, it's it's har clearly harkening back to old school patronage. Yeah. Right. But it, it's one because we're not doing that anywhere else. You know, I mean, now the Internet is giving out more money for artists than the government. So the National Endowment of the Arts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Artists are getting more money from the Internet than they are from the National Endowment of the Arts. So what do we need the government for? So I'm a guy who made a lot of living telling people how to get money from the government. <laughs> yeah. And I see that coming to an end. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, it's it's everything, right? I mean, crowdsourcing, yeah. just in general, it's not just crowdfunding. Crowdsourcing is right. taking over everything. I learned... A couple of days ago, there was an announcement about this incredible new app. It, it's uh, people, uh, they encourage people who know CPR to download this app. And then oh. you say, I know CPR. Wow. And you turn on location on, on uh, geolocating services. Wow. So, so, the, so this app knows where you are. So I you can imagine see. a map of Ooh. San Francisco. It's got plotted yeah. hundreds CPR. of points of people who know CPR all wow. over the map. And then when there's a 911 call and someone gets a heart attack, I see. this app sends everyone within four blocks push notifications. Hey, wow. this person just You're had there. a heart attack. Wow. Instantly, they, 10 wow. people within four blocks know, right and they there. all rush to the person right. who, wow. who needs CPR. And then there, there are like 
five times quicker than paramedics. Yeah, I would you think know, so. Instead of, yeah. instead of arriving in seven minutes, like there's Domino's people there getting in 30 seconds. Right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. It's great. The technology, I mean, the information technology is just going to change our cities and everything. And, and yep. now it's going to change artists. And you're you're putting that together instead of a, a normal artist would, would get 10 percent, go to some publisher to publish it. And maybe they get five, 10 percent. And now <laughs> they get 90, 95 percent by using your site instead. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And that's wonderful. And so it's patreon.com. So if you're an artist or you want to be a patron. And actually what I do, looking at it, man, there are people there. I love the work. I never would knew about it. So it's great if you're not an artist to go shopping for cool stuff, cool yeah. art. You, know, you want a cool video on your website. You're looking for a cool graphic to put on your site or anything. You know, you're the place to find that neat talent like that. That yeah. is there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's becoming we're we're finding people who's just like browsing the discover yeah. section. It yeah. It is, just... it's wonderful. Yeah, for looking for talent. You're the place. Right. But also encouraging talent. And I thank you so much for for taking your creativity and whatever. And by the way, you're a very successful musician who have used the internet to make money as a musician for many years now. And so you're sh showing the rest of us how we could take our art and do that too with patreon.com, right? That's right. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Jack. Nice hey, that thank you're you. there. You bet. Take care. Okay. You're ready to chuck that lousy job and become an artist because now you're way, you found a way to fund it. And if you're not ready to do that, tell other artists about it. It's something to try. It costs no money, you know, to, uh, to give this a try. And, and, and that's the important thing about life now. It's just, you, nobody knows really what works, but you have to keep trying things. And, and if they're costing you a lot of money, then you're going to run out of trying things. So, so if you're trying things that don't cost any money, you could keep trying until you figure it out because we all learn by doing. You can't learn how to swim sitting in a you know office chair, right? You gotta get in the water. So get in the water.